People around the world are wrapping up the work week, many of them having spent hours in video conference meetings that home office hybrid will likely outlast the COVID-19 pandemic. But what if those meetings could be more dynamic and engaging? That's one goal of the metaverse, a virtual world inhabited by digital twins of people, places and things. It's being billed as the future of the Internet, and it's get getting more buzz now that Facebook revealed a major push into the space, even changing its name to Meta. Investors are jumping on board, positioning portfolios to tap into this tech trend. Shares of metaverse-related stocks and ETFs have gained ground since the Facebook rebrand. Sarah Alcaldi has more on what the metaverse is all about. Plain texts on a white page. That's how the first web page looked in the 1990s. The internet has since evolved to be a place to communicate, purchase products, watch movies, and even work remotely. And now the race is on to write its next chapter. On guard. Fun. Don't be scared this time. <laughs> it's a race Meta, the new parent company of Facebook, wants to win by building what's called the Metaverse. It's an immersive version of the web where users live, work, and play inside an interconnected virtual world. Meta's vision is one space where different 3D tools can be used, much like how the iOS and Android allow people to use apps made by different companies. While some might view Meta's concept as far-fetched, the stuff of science fiction even, parts of the metaverse are already available. Video games such as Fortnite and Roblox allow users to create and interact with each other online. South Korean theme park Lotte World opened last month in the Zepetto metaverse, where users can ride attractions in the virtual world. And last year, K-pop group BTS launched its dynamite single on Fortnite. In fact, the metaverse has created so much traction in South Korea that the government has formed a metaverse alliance with more than 200 firms. Chinese tech titans are also paying attention, with Alibaba and Tencent filing for metaverse-themed trademarks. And your avatar looks awesome. Over in the US, Microsoft's metaverse plan is focused on corporate use. CEO Satya Nadella is taking a more gradual approach compared to that of his counterpart, Mark Zuckerberg. For a start, Microsoft is launching digital avatars in its chat and conferencing programs next year, with the aim of making virtual meetings more realistic. With these developments, the question is not whether the Internet as we know it will evolve. It's more about what it will look like and who its main architects will be. Sarah Alcaldi, CNA.